Hey YouTube, how's it going? Well, I'll tell you what, much better day today, and here we are, another day closer to the day of escape and the road home, yeah. Well, uh, two things. First up, a quick update on uh, my future internet situation, because I was really, really gratified, thrilled, excited, and so on to find this bit about uh, it seems that what my sister has gotten a hold of is she's made arrangements for to get to have somebody come out on uh, well the day after I get out of here somebody will be coming by the house to uh, get the place set up for internet and the plan in question is going to be AT&T's unlimited plan that goes for about 60 bucks a month around here which the internet service that I was getting from CenturyLink in, in Arkansas that internet plan was costing me about 50 bucks a month and it was um, it was let's see up to 10 megabits per second download and no promises at all in the upload which worked out to approximately 0 0.5 megabits up and of course that terrible horrifyingly low up number is the reason for many of my woes and complaints about internet over the years this package from AT&T has it beat all hollow completely and totally beat she was informed and she was very excited to tell me that uh, they told her that the speeds that could be expected would be 940 megabits per second download speed which let's face it that's gigabit and for an upload speed I think 35 megabits per second upload would be quite acceptable, don't you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I am so looking forward to that. I'm figuring uh, set the place up with a wireless router so that uh, phones and tablets and other devices can access wirelessly and then have a uh, length of Cat6 Ethernet cable going from the router to the computers for uh, maximum, take full and maximum advantage of that monstrous internet. Oh yeah. Now, anyway, with that out of the way, I was thinking today about some crossovers and combinations that I thought would be kind of cool. Uh, specifically, my latest thing here in all the time that I've spent with the hospitals and whatnot has been uh, police shows uh, like uh, police procedurals and uh, courtroom drama kind of things well like for example Law and Order big one and uh, NYPD Blue and stuff like that I even managed to get a hold of me, uh, watching an episode uh, well actually a couple of episodes of Homicide Life on the Street and, uh, you know, that one was uh, sort of concurrent with Law and Order, enough so that there were a few crossovers between the two series. And it got me thinking. Some epic uh, crossovers that I think would have been really cool, specifically pairings of certain characters. Like, for example, on NYPD Blue, my favorite character from that show is Detective Andy Sipwitz, played by Dennis Franz. He's got just the right kind of attitude. He's always wanting to do right, and he doesn't mind getting his hands dirty to do it, you know? And uh, so on. And he's a very deep character. He's not just some kind of a one-dimensional character that has a sort of a basic you only do things one way kind of thing. He's adaptable, he's good, he's got a serious amount of depth on him, and after, what is it, 11, 12 seasons of NYPD Blue, 
uh, it was kind of uh, it was kind of sad to see that show end. But at the other hand, when it did end, you had that character taking over as the lieutenant, the commander in charge of the squad, the 15th squad that he'd been working in for. Uh, if I have my chronology right, he'd spent a grand total at the end of the show, he'd spent a grand total of 30 years on the force working in the 15th squad. Yeah. But uh, take that character, Andy Sipowitz, and pair him up with a character that he never had a chance to any, even encounter. And that is the character from Homicide, Life on the Street. Specifically, Andre Brower, who played Frank Pimbleton from Homicide. And I think that would have been a very interesting pairing because uh, at first it would have been tooth and nail. They'd have fought like fire and water, cats and dogs, and so on and so forth. They, they would have ground against each other's nerves something awful. But give it time. Give it three or four seasons of developing the characters, and they would have worked out into eventually being the top best pair of detectives on that force they would have been the best team out there and it would have been very interesting to see that happen yeah it really would now there are a whole lot of other such things like that that I have thought about over the over the day just over today and I'm probably going to uh, bring some of these out over the next few days just for giggles but also just for giggles I want to hear what you guys think would be epic enough or sufficiently awesome combinations of characters from separate shows. Characters that in their normal run of things would never have uh, ever been together or worked together or met or anything like that. But characters that if they could have been brought together to work together would have been an awesome combination. I want to know what you guys think is possible there. In the meantime, however, it's time to say thanks for watching. Take it easy. I am out of here. <laughs>